Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about why do whales explode after death? It turns out that dead whales explode because their digestive system is still working. But this strange phenomenon doesn't stop there. It doesn't happen with every whale, but several cases are on record where whales explode after dying. According to the National Geographic, after a whale dies, its organs, stomach contents and everything begin to decompose. This causes gases to build up and get trapped inside the body. Even though the insides start decomposing, the outside stays intact for a while because a whale skin and blubber are thick and tough. Because of this, the body begins to expand. A major factor in many beaching seems to be the whale's propensity to follow pods and prey. If one whale expresses distress, the rest of the pod may follow and become beached. Similarly, some beachings appear to be caused by whales following dolphins or porpoises into too shallow waters. But before we dive deeper on why do whales explode after death, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or else you'll get attacked by dead whales. Don't want that to happen, right? So just keep on watching. Well, it doesn't happen with every whale, but several cases are on record where whales explode after dying. Why do whales end up stranded on the beach? Cetacean stranding, commonly known as beaching, is one of the causes of death of these giant ocean mammals. This is nothing new but there are records of stranded whales going back centuries. In many cases, they choose to strand themselves and land when they're sick or very old. This may also happen if, for some reason, they become disorientated. For instance, after colliding with a set of rocks or when trying to flee from some danger offshore, they usually end up on the coast where they can't escape and eventually die. We must also add that there are other reasons for whale stranding. Sadly, there are reasons that humans are completely responsible for. In addition, Due to global warming, the coldest areas of the planet such as the North and South Poles are disappearing and the whales no longer know where to go at certain times of the year. Why do whales explode after they die? When whales die in the ocean, their bodies eventually sink to the bottom. Once the body comes to rest, biologists refer to this as a whale fall. As you would guess, other fish and sea animals initially eat the meat off the carcass. However, what came as a surprise to ocean researchers was the finding the dead whales support entire ecosystems. In 1998, researchers at the University of Hawaii discovered that at least 12,490 individual organisms representing more than 43 species were living off of whale fall in the deep North Pacific Ocean. But some of these sea creatures, which included rare species of clams, worms, and eyeless shrimps, were not nibbling away at their remains. Instead, the colonies were chemoautotrophic, which means they produce their own food via chemicals. Chemoautotrophy is similar to photosynthesis in plants, except it doesn't require sunlight since the sun's rays don't penetrate the depths of the water. Further investigation into these novel ecosystems found that bacteria that overtake a whale skeleton feed off the bones, which consists of 60% fat. The bacteria then produce hydrogen sulfide, a chemical with a signature rotten egg scent. Those thousands of chemoautotrophic sea creatures convert the hydrogen sulfide into usable energy to thrive and reproduce. Researchers have located similar chemoautotrophic colonies without whale carcasses involved near cold seeps and hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Seeps and vents are essentially underwater vacuums and geysers where breaks occur in the Earth's tectonic plates. The seeps and vents release hydrogen sulfide, like what the bacteria release on the whale carcasses. Thanks to that chemical, you'll find chemoautotrophic organisms such as related mussel species in these areas similar to those found living at whale falls. Well, what exactly does dead, bloated whale smell like? Decomposing whale is one of the worst smells in the world. Imagine a jar of bacon grease that you leave out in the sun for weeks. Now imagine the odor is so potent that it clings to everything you own. It gets in your sinuses and stays there for days afterward. Do whales normally explode when they die? As there are usually less people in the water where whales die, they don't usually explode. Instead, they sink to the bottom. They tend to make it to the seafloor in one piece. And this is a good thing since the whale now becomes a source of food for animals in the surrounding area. The whales are huge animals. There aren't many other animals that can match them in size. So that means a dead whale is a ton of food for other creatures on the seafloor. This food could last in that ecosystem for a long time. Nat Geo further states that this so-called the whale fall and whole communities of life can be built around the death of these large animals. First, bigger creatures come by to break down the body. That allows smaller ones to come through and feed off of it as well. What would cause a whale to explode? 
Gas builds up as the animal's viscera and stomach contents decompose, but whale skin and blubber are tough. The massive throat pouch that you see inflating and all is designed to fill the seawater and then force it out through belly. It can handle a lot of pressure. Usually, the causes of whales to explode is people doing stuff to them, either from bystanders trying to climb on or take a souvenir from the carcass, crews trying to move the carcass, or in the case of the pharaohs, exploding sperm whale, intentionally degrassing it. That's one very good reason you should never approach a dead whale carcass. Why can't you touch a dead whale? As the expansion of gases take place in the dead whale's body, the only obstacle between it and the outside world becomes the skin of the whale, and the skin will give it at some point. Beachgoers are always urged to keep away from, and not touch, a dead beached whale. This is due to the fact that when the gaseous pressure inside the whale accumulates to risky levels, it can have explosive effects. As well as the risk of pressure building inside the animal, causing it to explode, which can happen even from the slightest prod, there is a chance of coming into contact with deadly bacteria on the carcass skin. If you touched a beached whale with your hands, you could easily become infected, especially if the sun is strong and temperatures are warm. This is obviously unhygienic at best, but could spread infectious diseases. Even the slightest prod can disrupt a delicate obstacle between those trapped gases and the individual. And if it explodes close to you, it can lead to devastating or fatal injuries. Has a bleached whale ever been saved? Over 100 whales trapped on a Sri Lankan beach have been taken into the ocean in an overnight rescue operation. One dolphin, three pilot whales passed away due to their injuries following the mass beaching close to the city of Panadura, south of the capital Colombo. What are a community's options to dispose of a beached whale's dead body? The best option is usually to bury it on site. If that is not possible, removal is a challenging proposition. Whales are huge, and bringing in major earth moving equipment in some cases can be more destructive to the shoreline than just leaving the whale to decompose naturally. It's no secret there are things in nature that don't always make sense to us. The wild is, well, a wild place, and seemingly, anything can happen. We can have all our research in place, and yet be astounded by how little we understand of a phenomenon. One of those things is why whales explode after they die. At this point, you may be thinking that watching a whale explode in person would be fun. Well, think again. Let's know your thoughts about this video in the comments section below.